What is going on everybody? Coach Jay in the house. Back in the house at Every Build. Welcome back everybody. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have done. Uh, supported us throughout this whole pandemic. Love seeing your faces back at the studio uh, for uh, yesterday's uh, reopening as well as seeing some of you today. Today is Technique Tuesday of course. And today we've got Romans, so part of that new little circuit program that we have here at F45. So I'm going to take you through one of the movements, and this one is a uh, double uh, movement here. You've got the bent over row with a bent over reverse fly. So this is great because not only time under tension to engage the abs and the glutes, so nice little core engagement there throughout. So always talking about core to extremities, so starting with the core and working our way outside of the body to the outer muscles there. So this one, like I said, two movements while um, contracting and keeping your abs and uh, glutes nice and engaged. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna hinge from the hips. The key word here is bent over. A tendency for a lot of humans is when they get tired, they're gonna stand up. And then that takes away a lot of the uh, purpose of the movement to focus on that upper back there. So here, for both movements, I want you to focus on squeezing those shoulder blades, all right? So first one is a bent over row, driving the elbows all the way up, squeezing those shoulder blades. For that row, you're not using momentum, you wanna keep your abs, your glutes nice and tight. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do one bent over row, and then one reverse fly. So coming in nice and close, coming out nice and wide. On that reverse fly, I want you to keep a nice soft bend in the elbow, to protect those shoulders, all right? So here, row, into a reverse fly. Row into a reverse fly. Really time under tension again for your core and then squeezing those shoulder blades. So imagine that you've got like a tennis ball or an orange between those shoulder blades and you want to squeeze those shoulder blades together to engage that upper back. So by going close and then by going wide, so by doing a row and a uh, fly, we're just targeting the muscles from a different angle, uh, engaging more muscle fibers and just really building that upper back strength, all right? So our tendency usually is uh, we're anterior dominant, we're stronger in the front muscles. So it's really important that we focus on those back muscles. So enjoy that movement today if you are fortunate enough to be in that square. We'll see you guys soon.